right, ladies and gents, welcome back to part six of Paperboy. This is the final part, and we're just going to go through the events. I'm going to explain what they do, and we're going to name them, and you guys will be able to play your game, all right? So the first event you're going to call is Scene Start. Scene Start, you're going to do System, Runtime, Scene Start. So basically, when the system is starting, you're going to do uh, everything in the class Border and Trigger, is going to have an appearance set opacity zero. Okay, so we don't want to see the borders and triggers in the game. Okay, so those opacity uh, opacity stay to zero. Uh, the game over text we don't want to see that right away. So we want the appearance to be set hidden. Yes, and then later on when the game is over, we'll say game over appearance set hidden no. Okay, uh, same thing with the play again button appearance set hidden yes. We just don't want to see that yet. Uh, all in class paper trigger is going to be an appearance set opacity zero. Okay, so keep those opacities down for now. And if we do want to see them later on, uh, we will actually. I'm sorry, the opacities those are going to stay at zero uh, because we don't want to see the 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 collider on the person. We don't want to see the collider on the mailboxes, um, and we don't want to see the spawn points that are going to spawn the cars. Okay, so we can close that one, and we will move on to the next one. Next one is called the house, trash can, and road movement. So when the game over text appears, uh, and it's, I'm sorry, when the game over text is hidden, okay, which means that we're in game, we're playing, all of the houses are going to move, move backward over time, 0.2 of a speed, okay, speed and time. Um, what that means is basically that the houses are going to move on the screen so let's go back out of here they're gonna move on the screen backwards which is coming down on the screen point two and then the next one is gonna say okay we'll move them left over time point two two five the reason why these numbers are different and I'm hoping that this works on everyone's screen is because the resolution or um, aspect ratio of your screen is longer than it is tall okay so it can't just be 0.2 and 0.2 because the angle wouldn't be coming down into the left corner of your monitor, all right? Um, if you're on an iPhone, it should be very similar. But if you're on an older computer that has a square monitor, like a 4x3, it might not work as well. So you may have to play with those numbers a little bit. Um, all in class roads. So all the roads are going to also move backwards over time, 0.2. And they're also going to move left over time, 0.225 okay so the same two numbers trash cans same thing I should really put that in the yes I did house trash can and road move it uh, they're gonna do the same thing move backward over time 0.2 uh, all in class trash cans movement move sideways left over time 0.225 so that one is now done I'd pause your video for a second and get those out of the way but I want to give you guys the explanation of them okay House relocation. We want the house to relocate itself. This is actually the hardest one to figure out. And I'm hoping that these numbers I came up with work for everyone. Um, but we want it to relocate itself. So after it hits a certain point and it's off of our screen, we want to relocate those to the front. That way the houses continue to build themselves as we're going down the road and the game can be played infinitely. So all in class houses is going to be a position is below house control so if the position is lower than that house control button which is down here then it's gonna move to the front okay and if it's not happening fast enough you can move it up in here a little bit um, and that'll make it go a little bit faster okay or happen a little bit sooner I should say uh, when that happens when it gets below that point the affected house is gonna be a position we're gonna set the position at negative 0.58 I had to try a million numbers to get this um, and it's kind of a silly part of the software that you can't just say hey move from here to there you know what I mean um, but negative 0.58 comma 1.595 okay so plug those numbers in and your house should relocate as you're moving along so I'm gonna hit done and I'm gonna hit play here for a second and you'll see as my player gets a little bit further in the game that that next house should jump up here Ooh, that's not right hold on Maybe I shouldn't have moved my, my icon. Did that have anything to do with it? Let's see. I wonder if it's positioned off of my icon. 
there's the road there's the house okay so maybe not move your icon unless you're gonna move it first and then change it um, but it seems like it's actually tied into the actual icon the house relocation icon all right so those numbers worked for me I'm hoping that it works for you guys as well let me know in the comments if it does not okay and we'll try to figure it out together all right so going back into the events house relocation is done now we're gonna do road relocation same thing I had to really play with these numbers and it, I guess it is based on where road control icon is uh, anything in the class road when the position is below road control uh, the affected uh, road is gonna be a position set position 1.122 comma 0 0.608 okay so man I'm, I'm now I'm wondering if that's gonna not work for you guys and there is no other way to do that um, because you can't snap it from point to point or anything like that but hopefully you guys can figure it out as well I had to play with those X and Y coordinates to get it to go in the right place um, and you may have to do the same so alright throw newspaper uh, when the paper button okay senses a touchdown so when you click on throw we want it to do the player clone clone object newspaper so out of the player it's gonna clone a newspaper and when that happens the player is gonna play a sound called jump one so that'll make a little sound when you throw the newspaper out alright so let's show you what that looks like or what that sounds like alright there's a little sound there hopefully you guys can hear that uh, let's see next one newspaper rotate and movement we want it to rotate and move out so when all in class newspaper when the position is below start of movement okay that's that line that we have at the top below the cars so if it's below that movement which it's going to be um, because the lines are off of the screen affected object from the class newspaper its position is gonna move left over time 0.5 speed okay speed and time um, the affected object from the newspaper angle we want the angle to come out at 25 degrees which is why when I hit play and I toss a newspaper it goes up a little bit 25 degrees and it goes out to the left and it's rotating okay alright that one's done newspaper rotate now we want to do score newspaper remove clone so when you score uh, when all in class newspapers senses a collision with anything from the paper trigger that's the uh, the mailbox collider okay when it uh, when it touches the paper triggers the score label is gonna add one so that you get a score it's also gonna make a sound when it hits it and it's gonna be the coin sound we also need the newspaper to go away we don't want it to hit it and then keep flying so you're gonna do all uh, affected object from class newspaper clone remove clone okay alright next one newspaper subtract points if you miss you lose a point so if uh, when all in class newspaper its position is left of object left the effect so that's the it's the left side of the road the affected object clone remove clone so even if you miss uh, the mailbox we want it to just barely touch the left side and then disappear otherwise it'll just keep continuing and probably hit the house which I guess you could leave but it'll just go on forever and ever in the game um, so that's up to you all right uh, the left side we want to play a sound when it does that as well called blip 2 and that's gonna make just like a little funny sound when you miss uh, and the score label subtract one point okay so score label score label subtract one alright so the next one counter and random number setup okay so we have to set up our counter that we put on the spawn one and we have to set up the random random number generation so when the system has run longer than five seconds and when the system is run I'm sorry and every three seconds in the game so system runtime repeat every three and game over appearance hidden yes meaning when it's not a game over okay so when the system is running for more than five seconds when the system is repeating every three seconds uh, when it's not a game over we want spawn one now by the way we're just using spawn one as something to hold these pieces it doesn't really mean because spawn one is actually going to be used for spawning our cars but we're just using it to hold these random numbers we want it to generate a random number every three seconds okay um, only after it's been five seconds in the game and we also want to change the counter value to one what that means is that if we have it set to zero when we start the game it's not going to be generating numbers but when we set it to one 
now it's time to have the car start coming out okay so moving down spawn one pink car or whatever car is out there I can't remember the colors I think I had pink but it's really blue um, or maybe in this version of my game I have pink so when spawn one when the counter is equal to one okay so we just changed it to one in the last one um, the spawn one is gonna generate a random number and if it's equal to one then it's going to do spawn one clone clone object pink car okay uh, spawn one counter one set the value back to zero so now the value is zero again okay so that'll then go back up to this one and it will say uh, let's see after another three seconds please generate another number and change the counter to one so we're ready for another car again that way you don't get multiple cars coming down the road that would make the game impossible because you wouldn't be able to pass them um, so we say we change the counter back to zero next one is gonna be the same exact thing but it's gonna be for the yellow car uh, and a different random number so spawn one counter when it's equal to one the random number when it's equal to two we wanted to spawn the yellow car and we want the counter to go back to zero again and then three seconds later it'll do it again car movement when anything in the class obstacles that's the cars when the position is below start of movement so let me show you where that is on the screen this line is start of movement these cars will not move and this player in this newspaper will not move that's just a position holder when it spawns at spawn one it'll be below that line and that's when we want to say uh, hang on did that one did that one car movement when any of the cars are below that line we want the affected car to move 0.8 speed and time move backward over time and move left sideways left over time 0.9 same thing with the numbers here I had to mess around with these numbers a little bit in order to get them to go down the right way and we want it to go down and to the left on what I would think would be a 16 by 9 monitor okay or a laptop or whatever so we're done with that one uh, remove clone of cars you don't want these objects that you're throwing and these cars that are driving to to just continue infinitely because the game will get clogged up with too many assets so we need to remove the clones um, that way it doesn't do that so all in class obstacles when the position is below house control okay this actually should have been road control no the road control would be I think it could be either actually it doesn't really matter um, when it's below that house control which is the little white icon that's down here in the bottom left okay um, when it gets past that you're going to remove the clone okay so the affected object clone clone remove game over here's a long one all in class obstacles the cars when they sense a touch of the player collider okay so when you're when a car hits you uh, all in class trash cans are gonna sense I'm sorry this is an and uh, or sorry if it if a car hits you or if a trash can if you hit a trash can the player appearance set hidden yes so he goes away and the player that is the game over player position set position to object and we put him on top of this player that's why he can be up and off to the right and he doesn't need to be in play but we say okay when this guy is gone then let's put this guy on top of him that way it looks like he is game over and there's no skip in moving the player or anything like that it just pops up you know as the player being a game over icon okay um, also the score sound play sound enter two so basically it's going to um, it's gonna play a sound when you get hit okay or when you hit the trash can uh, game over text that's gonna be appearance set hidden no which means that it's not hidden we will see it it's a game over and the icon same thing or the or the button for play again is gonna be an appearance set hidden no um, that's gonna be so that we can actually press that button which is gonna be done in the next event uh, paperboy okay the icon itself the control pad set active no okay we don't want to be able to move our player after he's dead he should be you know lying on the street and uh, just looking like his icon is okay 
the throw button, appearance, set, hidden, yes. We don't want the throw button out there anymore. You shouldn't be able to throw any newspapers if it's a game over. And finally, the player collider, his appearance, set, hidden, yes. We don't want the player collider to be out there because then you would get, if another car hit you while you were still laying out there, you'd get another game over and it would just be an infinite loop of nothing, okay? And then the last one here is just play again. Do you want to play the game again? If you click play again, so if it senses a touchdown, system, system, restart scene, okay? And that's what you get. So you go ahead and play your game, have some fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it, all right? That's the end of this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.